Uh, so, I think these games are always a really good reminder uh, for how grateful I am and how lucky we are to be able to play football. I was uh, saying to a few of the boys walking through that it's really, really easy to get caught up in football, like injury form, uh, are we winning or are we losing? And then games like this, moments like this, sort of wash all that stuff away and um, really put into perspective what's, what's important. And we, we're very, very fortunate to be able to play football because generations of servicemen and women have um, you know, sacrificed for us and everyone gets to come and we get to you know, live, live our lives how we see fit and it's um, a timely reminder because it's, as I said, real easy just to get lost in the weeds of life, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so the staff, uh, kids um, and the players, it's been a, a few years, there's been a lot of players who this is their first time as well, just because of uh, you know, the last few years it's been hard to organise and get everyone out. So um, to walk through, we had a great, uh, Don was our tour guide, he was great, um, and just give, as I said, you know, some perspective and some insight. A lot, of, a lot of guys are hearing this is new information, everyone obviously understands and knows about the Anzac sort of legacy, but you get a lot more detail, um, a lot more insight, and uh, and I, I think just, as I said, you know, three or four years it's been since with COVID and everything, so um, a really awesome experience for guys if they never had it, but a, a really good reminder for people who have, and um, yeah, the kids, it was, it was good to see the kids floating through, and um, our, uh, they've all gone now, but um, the, the staff across the road as well came, and um, I think as a club, Embracing it uh, totally all together is um, something that's really cool and uh, you know very very fortunate that we get to play in a game, a big game like this, which is um, tied tightly to Anzac, the, the legacy and stuff. That's that's really important. So it's um it's a cool week to get involved in. Should all match be gone going through there? Is he going to play this week? Match committee sits sometime in the next couple of days. I, I'm not actually on the committee, so I'm not going to be able to pick him or not pick him. But um, he's been training and he looks like he's moving pretty well. So. Um, well, when is match mini good runs? Tonight. It's tonight. So um, yeah, well, I hope he plays. He's um, he's, he's been doing a lot of work. So he, his hands up in the air for sure. Well, I do the podcast with him, and you'd think that that would be a time to spill the beans, but no. His podcasting form has been good though, so he, he can still talk the talk. But um, yeah, I look, I, he, he the amount of work he does behind the scenes, obviously, um, is is immense. He's a real professional. So I if. If it's possible, if there's a will, then I'm sure you'll you'll find a way. Too busy talking to shipmates on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, they floated through. Don't worry. They are, but they, one of them, uh, Miles, is at Casey. So yeah. I played played a few games with him. So it's um right? okay. good to bump into him. Hey, um, uh, just with uh, Brody's been great the last couple of weeks. You know, shouldering the load. Um, he's really stepped up. I mean, uh, uh, obviously you worked on that early pre uh, preseason and early season dynamic with him and Max. I mean, how much has it changed? Sort of how you go about things um, in the midfield group and, and sort of across the ground. As in just having Brody and not no, Max playing, no, or Max both Max, of them? Yeah, oh yeah, look, yeah. Uh, what there's probably eight or nine All Australians between them, and I think the first thing uh, is that you just want as your best players on the track. So having both of them, I think, is like a real advantage, no matter where they are on the ground. And everyone was talking about the balance and who played where and stuff, but you know, if you have more, yeah, you know, the more talent, you know, that's a, that's a good place to start. So uh, what I think's been great about the two of them, and it started, I think, Max set the tone. By uh, well, you know, people could say you know you're the best ruckman in the competition, and you want it to be about Max Gorn, but he's very clearly made it about the team, and I think that's helped. Um, and you know, I mean, no one wants injuries, but we've been very fortunate to have you know pretty good backup. Um, if if one of them does go down, it's uh, it's not it's less uh, impactful to our team performance. And I think yeah, as you said, Brody's been awesome, but uh, I think together the two of them. Uh, you know, they, they, they'll actually improve each other. They'll be, they'll benefit from playing with each other. So, um, it's um, you know, once it's round five, they've played a couple of games together. So, it'll continue to develop and grow. But I think it's a real competitive advantage for us. And um, yeah, he's been terrific in Max's, Max's absence. You've been big on scoring this year and trying to really you know, get the speed on the footy. Um, how have you somewhat sort of seen that develop over the last over the first five weeks of the season? And, and does that need to improve? Do you think, or, or is yeah, it's a good question. It's it's interesting. We have always, um, you know, trained and been a, t a contest and a defense team. So, 
for us, um, not scoring almost is a... If we're defending really well and our, we're winning contests, then the scoring comes off the back of that. I think um, the game's just trending uh, to quicker ball movement and, and I think that's just a natural progression. But for us... Um, the games we win and we lose, uh, it's because our either our contest is really good or uh, you know we're missing the mark there, we're, or we're not defending as well as what we should. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, this, the offense is something that I think we're all naturally, you know, you, you're here for a reason. You're playing football because you know how to, um, you know, win the footy and you know do special things. We've got a lot of really talented players, but our games. Um, win and we, 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 we really focus on the contest and the defence and that's what we're going to try and you know, keep investing in. It's a pretty different Richmond side to the one you played in this game last season. They've got a lot of inexperienced taller players that have stepped into injured players. Do you try and exploit that a bit with the experience that you have? Oh, look, you're very, very brave to try and exploit Richmond. They're um, a great team who've got a lot of, you know, even the new players that are they're playing that are through necessity, but they've got a lot of really, really good players, and they coach really well, and they've got a, you know, a, a proud and strong sort of culture. And to take them lightly, to think that you could exploit them is probably that's not what we're going to try and do. We respect them, and we respect every opponent we play. But Richmond, are, you know, don't, we're not going to take them lightly at all. Uh, whoever's playing for them, um, yeah. So I guess uh, you know, bringing it back to what we were just talking about for us, you know, we, we're more focused on the stuff that we're doing, uh, and. Yeah, so for us, we had a pretty bad defensive performance last week against Essendon, and our contest was way off as well. So um, instead of focusing on ways to maybe exploit them, I think we're going to probably focus more on you know, just things that we can control and things that we can do. And um, you know, just if you look at the two games we've lost, Brisbane and um, Essendon, have been poor defensive performances. So uh, that's something that we're going to try and I, I can imagine um, train pretty hard when, for our main training session is. Um, and hopefully that's something that you can see coming out on uh, Monday night. It was um, great to see James Hahn return after a couple of weeks away from the club. He had a really good game with the VFL. Yeah. You started to have him back around the group. Yeah, everyone's... Uh, uh, harmsy has got this infectious uh, positive energy and it was sorely, uh, sorely missed. Great to see him get back out. Um, he played really well. I think our VFL team's 4-0, and so it's um, a great place to be playing footy and... Um, you know, it's something that we we're really proud of, uh, having a really strong VFL team, a strong club. Um, and, yeah, to see him running around and, um, what do you have, 34 touches, a couple of, maybe a goal or two snuck in there somewhere. So, great to have him back. He's a really important player for us. But, um, yeah, you know, he, he hopefully comes along. And I'm not sure if he's, again, match committee tonight. I don't know if he's playing or not, but um, it's good to have him back. In terms of the midfield mix, I mean, I, I sort of had pre-season that you were trying to, as a club, sort of spread the load, especially the centre bounce. Now, I mean, the centre bounce for you is a bit of a rarity nowadays. But um, are, you, are you personally looking to sort of move into there as the season progresses? Did you sort of give that weight last year? My, uh, yeah, yeah, last year it sort of happened later on. I think, um, well, I mean, for me, my, my, my thing's always been whatever goody and the coaches want. Um, you know, I'm, that, that, that's what I'm here to do. I think uh, for me, it's like, uh, you know, the, the, the time for wanting to be a midfielder all the time and, you know, win all the footy and kick all the goals has, um, you know, fallen away pretty quickly after we, you get a taste of premiership success and it's like, well, this is what it's really all about. So, um, yeah, the mix of the midfield sort of, I, I think it has been more dynamic this year than in the past and, um, you know, I think that's a real strength. So whether that includes me in the next few weeks, I'm not, I'm not particularly sure, but I, I, as a general observation so far it look, I think it looks pretty good and I um, yeah we're, we're certainly um, not going to go away from it that's something that we've been training all pre-season and um, you know it's, just, it's going to make us harder to play against just in, in, on last year obviously you were the dominant team for the, for the start of last year you guys have spoken about you know how much that burned the way you sort of fizzled out towards the end of last year I mean how do you sort of look at that lens through the first five weeks of the season where you've played some good footy but you've also dropped off yeah. a little bit I mean do you take lessons out of last year when you're yeah, I mean, you could connect some dots, I'm sure. I think the thing that uh, we learned about last year was, and whether we fizzled or whatever, we were always trying to improve every week and get better, and, and there were always things we were trying to work on, and I guess we just got to the end of the season and, and were no longer improving, so came to a bit of a ground to a halt. But, yeah, the inconsistencies this year have, have certainly been there, so it's not, what do we go, 10-0, and 0, but um, 
I'm seeing, a, well, so far we've responded and improved in areas each week. And um, yeah, we've lost, but we've, the learnings we've taken from there have been implemented pretty quickly. So I feel like that's, that's the key for us. It's not, it was never going to be perfect. And if you want to go out and win every single game, then, you know, good on you. But that, that's rarely, got, that, you know, I don't think it's ever happened. So for us, the improvement's the, the key thing and um, continually getting better. Um, which is something we didn't have last year. So I'm, um, you know, no one wants to lose, but the fact we've lost, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's in fact, you know, our group's got a really good, and it's set by the coaches and goodies and great with it. Um, just trying to get better each, each and every week. Which, hopefully, when we get to the end of the season, we're not, you know, sort of stuck in the mud. We're still getting better and progressing and um, winning games when it matters.